Indeed, that is exactly what we are following up on today. So we've seen what has been happening there. But let us take a look at just some of the issues within that audit trail. So following the Citizen TV expose on the looting in the South Rift-based Masai Mara University, it's now emerged that the Auditor General has been flagging questionable financial records in the institution dating all the way back to 2015. Stephen Latour reports. Just like any other government institution, officers from the Office of the Auditor General have been visiting Masai Mara University to audit the institution whose credibility is now on its knees following revelations of glaring theft of public money. The university turning into a licking pot with whistleblowers saying there is no internal audit mechanisms. In 2015-2016 financial year, for instance, the university students' population was 9,339, but 494 students were not included in the list, yet they were billed 16.8 million shillings as fees. The Auditor General flagging a suspected fraud in the handling of held money by the university. The same year, loan sought from the Higher Education Loans Board was 60 million shillings, but 72.3 million shillings was wired into the university account. The Auditor General questioning the use of the 12 million shillings over allocation. During the financial year, the Mary Walingo-led university closed with a loss of 7 million shillings. In the 2016-2017 financial year, the total budget for employee costs was 678.8 million shillings, but the university ended up paying 52.7 million shillings more. He was a very good auditor. I can tell you like these are among the best auditors I've ever engaged with because he knew. He knew actually, he just looked at the bank statements and said something is going on here. The statements, however, did not highlight suspect bank transactions amounting to 190 million shillings, even as questions of collusion between the university's finance officers and officers in the Auditor General's office emerge. <laughs> Hawa litumu watu wa kuja wa audit mambo ya revenue. Nikawambia revenue imetoka watu ya kaniambia ni vile ilipotiwa na wala watu wa nakuwe. Na unona ni watu tuneza ilawana na hawa ama ni watu wa kurokaruka? Mutu mwenye anaongea na wawero. Ya. Yeah. Unamuwa kopa. Unafo. Waza hile kitu tofanya. Ya. Yeah. Na watu naenda juu. Ya. Yeah. Nimebuka pointi na kitu naenda last day kukutana na wawa. Statements presented by the university to auditors in the 2016-2017 financial year showed that 19 million shillings was spent as a university council expenses, 20 million shillings used for repair and maintenance, while 23.8 million shillings spent in the unspecified catering and accommodation, among other expenses. In the Mara Heist expose, the university reported in its defense that the in the 2016-2017 financial year, part of the expenditure was 36.7 million shillings for the construction of the tuition block, 62.9 million shillings as payments for part-time lecturers, and 82 million shillings paid for goods and services. <laughs> Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.